In Etrian Odyssey 3, expect to be called upon to do more with your skills than explore the labyrinth. The ocean city of Armorode is bustling with would-be adventurers looking to make names for themselves, and your merry band is just one of many guilds the people call upon. You'll find a list of side quests in the Butterfly Bistro, operated by the barmaid Missy. Requests can come from anyone in Armorode. From exploration and map making to item hunting and weapon crafting, your skills will be constantly put to the test, and you'll need to try a variety of classes to complete each task. Most quests have no time limit, and you can cancel one whenever you want by returning to the Butterfly Bistro. She'll put it back up on the request board, and you can claim it again when you think you're ready. Quests can have a variety of rewards. Some will give money, some equipment, and others will lead you to discover new areas of the labyrinth with new monsters to face. Still others will ask you to sail out into the vast sea to discover lost cities and re-establish trade routes with forgotten lands. Stay tuned for our final video short when we examine, from a safe distance, the game's most terrifying feature, the dreaded FOE. Etrian Odyssey 3, The Drowned City, set sail on September 21st, 2010. Inside every copy is a dual-sided explorer's poster with skill trees to help plan your party. Pre-order now to also receive a bonus 60-page full-color art book, only available at participating retailers while supplies last.